do have live coverage now of the crew getting suited up. We have Commander Ken Bowersox. This is his fourth flight. He has been an astronaut for about 10 years. And Bowersox will have overall responsibility for commanding the flight. He was the pilot for the first Hubble servicing mission back in 1993. And we have pilot Horowitz. As pilot, he will assist Bowersox at the flight controls. This is his second flight. He will assist Bowersox during the rendezvous and retrieval of the Hubble Space Telescope on flight day three, and also with the reboosting of Hubble if available fuel permits, and of course with the shuttle landing, the night landing that's planned here at KSC. And we have mission specialist Mark Lee. Across the room, we've got the rest of the crew. Mission Specialist Joe Tanner. Tanner's making his second flight. He will be, this will be his first spacewalk. He'll be teaming up with Greg Harbaugh and replacing one of the three fine guidance sens sensors on Hubble during the second EVA. He will also help replace the optical electronics enhancement kit and a failed engineering and science tape recorder. On flight day four, the team will replace the solar dry array drive electronics. And we've got uh, Mission Specialist Steve Hawley. Hawley's making his uh, fourth flight today. He's serving as the flight engineer and will assist the commander and pilot with ascent and reentry checklist and in monitoring the vehicle systems. Hawley used the robot arm to deploy Hubble on STS-31 back in 1990. And we have a mission specialist, Greg Harbaugh. He's making his fourth flight. He will be teamed up with Joe Tanner to perform two of the spacewalks. Harbaugh performed a spacewalk on STS-54 and was the backup EVA crew member for the first Hubble servicing mission. And we have Mission Specialist 5, Steve Smith, making his second flight. He'll be a first-time spacewalker on this flight. He'll be teamed up with Mark Lee in replacing the two instruments that have a combined weight of about 1,500 pounds. The gaseous oxygen vent hood at the top of the tank is being retracted away at this time. Every OTC, close and lock your visors. Initiate O2 flow. T minus 35 seconds. T minus 15 seconds and counting. All systems go. T minus 10, 9, 8, Seven. We have a go for engine start. Five, four, three, two, one. Ignition and liftoff. Discovery now on its way to service NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. Houston now controlling. We're all programmed, Houston. Roger roll, Discovery. Roll maneuver is complete aboard Discovery. The vehicle's now in a heads-down position on course for a 28 and a half degree, 309 nautical mile orbit. Three main engines uh, beginning to throttle down now as the orbiter prepares to pass through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. The three engines now at 67% of rated thrust. The solid rocket boosters beginning to uh, tail off with their chamber pressure standing by for burnout and separation of the uh, twin solid rocket boosters.
Switching views now to the color end effector camera. This uh, looking directly at the uh, bottom of the telescope as it comes into view. At Houston, we're in free drift, and Dr. Stevie's uh, going to get the telescope. And we see that, Doc. Go ahead, Discovery. Yeah, I wish you could see the expression on Dr. Stevie's face. Looks like he just shook hands with an old friend. Got a good picture. You guys would probably rather look at HST, though. We'll give you that. Sure is pretty. Morning Discovery, time for the first two princes go a little work outside. All right, we're ready to go fix that thing. Hey, and uh, I got a compliment you on the beautiful selection of what's got me so far.
Doctor's going in the door. No? Uh, Adam's going in. They're on the rail? They're on the rail with the D-lap. Now you're on the rail with... You can see the placement now of uh, Nick Moss and that angle iron, that right angle guide rail at the bottom right. Steve Smith is looking down the upper left hand corner and aligning that rail. Go ahead and pitch me five more degrees, Greg. Pitching five more of that, that would give you 20. Okay. Discover Houston, if cameras Alpha and Charlie are not in use at this time, we'd like to take them off and cool them down. That's complete. You have your hands where you're going to keep them? Yes. And you need to go forward another foot. Forward a foot. Discovery Houston for Joe. Yes, go ahead. Um, we just got TV back in time to see you come out on the beginning of your very first EVA. Welcome to space, and uh, it was nice seeing a big smile on your face. Have a good one. Orbiter's now uh, flying out over the Gulf of Mexico. Time to touchdown, 14 minutes, 30 seconds. Present altitude, 35 statute miles. 800 miles from the landing site. View looking east from the Mission Control Center as Discovery streaks through the atmosphere, 10,400 miles per hour. Descending at a rate of 140 feet per second now, or 105 miles per hour. Gear is down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Nose gear touchdown. Discovery rolling out on runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center, completing 150 orbits, traveling 4.1 million miles, ending the second sub servicing mission to the Hubble Space Telescope.
Copy, will stop. Discovery, welcome back after a successful second Hubble servicing mission. You made those five spacewalks look real easy, and we have no post-landing deltas. Pick up on page 5-3.